Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa. I love being a vet and doing everything that I can to help animals, people, and our environment. Today, we're going to talk about optimal nutrition. What do animals need to help them to not just survive, but to thrive and maintain optimal health? These days, there's so much more awareness for us humans about what we eat and how eating wholesome food can make such an important difference, not just to our health, but also to how we feel and the quality of our lives. And I see this in my patients all the time. Years and years ago, when I was a young vet, I'd learned at vet school what a balanced diet should be. And I fed this to our two staffies, Honcho and Sheila. Now, Honcho and Sheila were two Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Honcho not so bright, Sheila a little bit more brains of the party, but they both liked their food. I'd learned from a colleague that feeding them a well-balanced raw meat diet could potentially help to optimize their health. And being keen to see what we could do to help to improve their health and well-being, my partner and I as vegetarians at the time gave them some raw meat to eat as part of a well-balanced meat-based diet. Anyway, Honcho and Sheila loved their food, but further to this, some interesting things unfolded. Honcho, who was prone to having itchy skin conditions, suddenly didn't have them anymore. And Sheila, who was prone to getting fleas, didn't get them anymore either. Over the years, I've used nutrition as an integral part of a healthcare plan to obtain and maintain long-term health for our patients. At our veterinary practice, Holistic Vets, we see a lot of second and third opinion, even fourth opinion cases. There's animals with stubborn health conditions that come to us. And the first thing we do is to change their diet so that it's a wholesome, well-balanced diet. And it's amazing what unfolds when you give the body the nutrients that it needs. It works wonders to restore health. And sometimes this is the only thing that we need to do to help to improve their health and well-being. When you know what the magician knows, it's no longer magic. My key recommendations for a healthy diet to obtain and maintain long-term optimal health for your pet are firstly to remember that all pets are individuals and while the following guidelines work beautifully for most animals, some do well with variations and in fact there are some pets that do well on medicated foods for certain health conditions. Secondly, dogs and cats are carnivores. They depend mainly on a meat-based diet to maintain their health. So this means that ideally the food is made up of meat or high protein. The next very important point, point number three, is that it's a balanced diet. So out in the wild, dogs and cats or wolves or tigers, they will eat their prey and that's meat, bones, organ meats like liver, kidney, heart, intestines. And in fact, you may even see these animals that will graze on grass or eat fruits from time to time as well. The next important point is that there are no or low carbohydrates. Also, no foreign chemicals or preservatives. And finally, do what you can to ensure that the meat-based or protein-based diet that you source respects our environment, which is so important for all of our health and well-being. If you're using fish, make sure that the fish are sustainably fished. And if you're using meat, ideally get it from a place where they're sustainably farmed. And consider the packaging as well, so that we can do everything that we can to look after our environment. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe. I look forward to sharing more information with you.